if I'm right, the question was if I have any plan to present to politicians. Uh, what we what we young people are doing right now is to what we are demanding is that what we are demanding is that especially the people in power are, should listen to the science they should not i mean of course they should listen to us children as well but we are not the experts the scientists are the ones who needs to be heard and the experts and so so what we are saying is for them to to unite behind the science to listen to the science it should not be up to us children, teenagers, to, to present plans in order to, to secure future living conditions. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, if I got seasick, I got seasick the first day, uh, only the first day. Uh, only a li I mean a bit, but yeah, I got a bit seasick. But then the rest of the trip, nothing. So I mean, so yeah, I was very lucky, incredibly lucky. And I don't think, uh, not many of us, uh, we didn't suffer from seasickness on the boat. I think, at all. So we are very grateful for that. I don't know the full background of this, uh, but, but uh, I mean. When we are thinking of doing, of planning such things in the future, we need to to put this in a bigger perspective and to to really look at it. How will this benefit us? And is this really will this do more good than harm? And uh, we need to look at it from a bigger perspective and to also from a perspective of of a bigger time scale. So we cannot only think about today and what we want today and what benefits us today, but also in the future. Uh, I mean, the, we are not doing this trip and I'm not traveling like this because I want everyone to do so. I'm doing this to, to sort of send a message that it is I impossible. <laughs> that it is impossible to live sustainable today and that needs to change it needs to become much easier and i mean we we can't require from everyone to to rely on people like this to to sail you across an ocean that is absurd but i mean i'm not telling <laughs> yeah <laughs> i am not telling anyone else how to travel or not how not to travel but um, but of course, there are there are more sustainable alternatives. But uh, I'm not telling anyone else what to do. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure. I think we on the boat received some kind of message. Uh, it's very hard to communicate, so I'm I'm not. I can't guarantee you that I've seen it. But. but uh, I don't know. I don't know the details. If I would comment it, I would probably need to read it once again. But uh, I think we can safely say that no country in the world is doing enough, and that we <laughs> and that we that we all need to do much more than we are doing today. I think people are underestimating the force of angry kids. <laughs> I mean, we are angry, we are frustrated, and that is because that is because of of a good reason. If they want us to stop being angry, then maybe they should stop making us angry. <laughs> I mean. Uh, when people in power are criticizing you like that, that is only a proof that that you are having an impact, and that and that you, among others, are bringing change or trying to bring change. And uh, many people don't want that, and of course they will do everything they can to try to prevent change from happening. But uh, we will continue to make change happen and uh, we will make sure they will have to change. 
what I want to come out from the COP25 is, um, as for every other such meeting, that world leaders finally understand the urgency and that they listen to the science and act on the science, uh, that they start treating this crisis like a crisis and cooperate internationally. And uh, uh, many people say that uh, it doesn't matter, the, nothing will come out of the COMP25 as all, all the previous meetings. And um, that, that may be, and uh, we probably already know the outcome, but that can never be a reason to not try to do everything you can to make sure that this outcome uh, is different. Uh, and uh, m the next steps for me is uh, right now I will uh, stay in Lisbon a few days and uh, try to uh, to sort everything out. I haven't been uh, following the the news. I, I have been living under a rock for the few weeks, so I need to know what's, what has happened and also to get everything organized to, to make sure that I have everything I need. And, and, uh, and then uh, when I feel like it, go, go to Madrid and uh, for, the, uh, for the march on Friday. And <laughs> And, and then I don't know, I will have to make, to create a schedule for the COP25 as I haven't been able to do so during the trip. And so, so now I will have to, to choose which events I want to participate in and what I want to do. And uh, also talk with, with uh, other activists, local activists, what, what, we, what we will do. And after Madrid, I'm going home. Uh, for Christmas, yeah.